Oh. Hey, Hi. did y'all hear that sound too? It sounded like it came from upstairs. This isn't an unusual thing. I, I hear this every, uh, every night. And I, uh, I don't know what to... There it is again. To me, there just seems like there's a man in the attic. What's going on, my lovers? My name is Amanda Landry, and welcome back. This is gonna be a short horror game. It's called There's a Man in the Attic. It looked pretty decent, so I figured why not? Let's go ahead and jump into it and see if there really is a man in the attic. But hey, before we start, it's so good to see each and every one of you. Go ahead, give me a high five. Why don't you comment? Down below, tell me if you think that there's a man in the attic or if you think it's something more supernatural. And also, while you're at it, the like button's there. It's looking very fresh, too. Why don't you go ahead and click the like button? And without further ado, let's play There's a Man in the Attic. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked out my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Until now, when he's actually there. So before this sin even happens, I think that this is going to be a more of a supernatural... More of a supernatural thing. Find phone. Okay. Oh, I am so slow. But man, this game looks really good. Where's my phone? This is a, this is a daily problem. I, I relate to this very much. Boy, we are really taking our time. <laughs> Find the phone, I'm trying. I don't need to use the bathroom now. Nice to know. Downstairs we go. And there's my phone, hey, how nice. I just left it on the table. Alex, hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we have arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation, we had a great time. It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. But you know how kids are, they're in their imagination. She was probably just very tired as well take care okay well i wonder what's going on with uh lily here it's getting late but i should clean up first what kind of imagination does she have okay we gotta clean up the dining table clean the table uh. i often ask myself this but i'm not a slob so yes what is this Today, my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I had last seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about their everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing ever for a child. I am a pretty good uncle. So I offered to let her watch TV upstairs. Showed her all the cartoon channels and let her there to watch some TV away. From the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay, so that must have been me speaking in my uh, point of view, in my imagination. Boiler room, I don't need to go in there. Well, at least I know what these rooms are. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? It's so dark in that corner. I don't like how it's so dark in there. Do dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightening, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story and claimed that it was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Yeah, it's a little creepy, I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> Lily, you are uh, having the same imagination as I was when I was a child. Or is it an imagination? Does it just stalk the, the kids? Time to get some sleep. But okay, it looks like they were here and they just left and just got home, so it's time to go to bed. And I'm sure the man is up in the attic. Oh, I got goosebumps, y'all. I don't like this. Uh, I don't like how slow I am, too. Alright, there's the man up there. I'm not going up there. Was that light always on? 
I don't feel like it was. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing looking straight up from her doorway before returning to the attic just like in my dreams. That's spooky, man. I don't like that. I really don't. We're going to bed. What was that? The noises are coming from the attic. Why would I go investigate that? Bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Search the attic. The door is open. Oh, I don't remember leaving this door open. I don't remember it. Oh, great heavens. Oh, this is so fucked, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. Why do I feel like this is just leading to one giant ass jump scare? Oh, God. Oh, why do I have that painting? Why is there that painting? Y'all, I am absolutely fucked. Man in the attic to my ass. There ain't no one up here. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. That's what I just said. There's nothing up here. I would be a damn fool if I thought that there was actually something up here. But I am really scared. I'm walking away now. Oh, boy. Go back to bed. Oh, that eerie atmosphere. Oh, God. I don't like that. I'm going back to bed. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake, then you anxiously search for the cause, and you question it once more. Oh, my God. Okay, so what? Was that the game? Oh, no, there's more. There's more, y'all. Is the man in the attic real? Oh, this is a cutscene. I'm not moving. Oh, it is more of a supernatural kind of like imagination thing, is it? Oh my god, that's creepy as fuck. Oh my god, no. Ah. Uh. Oh, there is someone! Oh my god! Is it all imagination? Oh my god. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement, perhaps the man under your bed. Y'all, this is some very interesting stuff. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Yo, this was sick, man. Oh, oh, that gave me goosebumps. That was so good. Well, there you have it. Was the man in the attic real or not? I really love this, guys. I can't say how much I like this game, mainly because it plays off of this concept of this fear that we've all had. Is there someone under a bed? Is he in the basement? Is he in the other room? I hear stuff. Am I tricking myself out? I really, really like this because it leaves that mystery still there. Is there someone in the attic? It really leaves the player to interpret it for themselves. I really, really tip my hat for the story of this. I really, really was engaged the whole time, immersed the whole time. It was very simple. I really like how we got the eyes kind of flickering at the end to kind of give us a hint of is there really a man in the attic and then man just walking into that attic was so intense the the sudden change of atmosphere and audio and everything was just very good everything just seemed very polished in this game so I don't think I have really anything bad to say about this I think this is the developers first game too so very impressive stuff keep up the good work and with that being said let me know what you thought of the game did you enjoy it did you get goosebumps and scared like a little bitch like i did and if you did leave a like on the video as well so feel free to subscribe as well i upload daily videos and join the discord there's a link down below in the description if you haven't already so thank you everybody so much for watching and i will see you my lovers in the next video